The man, the myth, the legend. I got something way better than a backpack, too. Interesting. I was like, where the hell is your gear? I figured I'd leave it all home and just take these cupcakes instead. Nice <laughs> and quiet down here. I'm going to tie my hammock to the tree at the end. I put a bowline at the end of the hammock on one end. Go around the tree. And then I use a double quick release. Simply done, here's my loop. I go through the loop, like so. I pinch it, the other side of the loop, push it up over the, the cordage with my thumb, and I pull that through, pull a bite. Shorten it, pull another bite through that one. Now I'll hold my weight, but it's a quick release. And I'm ready to pack up and go. Show you again. Take the rope and go over. And I just pull a bite through it. Shorten it up. Put another one through it. So if one side has double quick release, that makes one big loop. On the other side, I like to have a different anchor point. I like to make a bowline towards the end, put my cordage through it. What that does is it creates a single rope off of this one side. Okay, so for the anchored side of my hammock on my single rope, I like to do a Evenk slippery hitch or a Siberian hitch. So I grab both ropes and go around my hand, underneath and over, grab this rope, pull it through. Now this is a slippery hitch. We'll go up against the tree nice and tight. Put it where I want. And it's a quick release as well. So I can tear down my camp very quickly. And it only takes a minute to set up. Test it out. Yes, indeed. I can't sit around just yet. Uh, this DD hammock system I have also has a built-in bug net with suspension over it. So I'm going to set that up next. Okay, so the knot that I use to attach my cross piece, my cross member of my bug net that hangs over my DD Travel BB hammock onto my ridge line, which will be for my tarp, I use taut line hitch, which is under, under, over. I'm going to go under, under. I'm going to cross and go over. Hotline hitch usually isn't used like this. This is using it almost like a prussic. So it's kind of a, a unique way to use it.
and that allows me to move the rope around which changes the height and angle of the top of my bug net. This is where it's at, Shane. Nice. Wow, <laughs> that thing really comes up off of you, huh? There's plenty of space in there. Oh, dude, it's so nice. Plenty of room. It's like a like a little world in here. Yeah, it's all suspended oh, it's by like itself. Oh, like a bungee, yeah. Yeah, bungee cord. There you go. Yep, got pockets in here for gear. Uh, I'm just gonna throw my pillow back there. Dude, rack out, man. Got my tarp over me. I'll be waterproofed. Yeah, it's pretty spacious, huh? Yeah, I'm not even holding it up. It's holding itself up. <sighs> yeah, I didn't see Gary up there. No? No. He's stuck there. There's even enough room to, like, do stuff in here. It's cool. Love it.
Thanks for processing the wood, Gary. No problem. Hitch. 